Hi everybody, Livy here from Consignment Chats and I've gotten so many requests about Facebook Marketplace, how it works for me and how you can make it work for your business. So here's a brief little tutorial. There'll be more to come if you're interested. So let me know, please like and subscribe. And you can also hit the notification button so you can see when we post new videos. Hi everybody, I've had a lot of questions lately about Facebook Marketplace and how I have that work successfully for my business. Right now it is our number two marketplace. So eBay is number one, everything goes on eBay. And I do cross list using the list perfectly tool to Facebook Marketplace. Now, the thing I wanna stress about this is I am cross listing these to my personal Facebook Marketplace account which I then hook into my business page. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So here's list perfectly, the, these little um, arrows are the list perfectly icon and it's just marketplace to marketplace. So I'm gonna find the item I wanna cross list. So I'm just gonna cross list these pants for now. And stay tuned, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks for what items are really selling and really hot on Facebook marketplace right now. Okay, so this is cross posting to Facebook Marketplace. Takes a minute to come up. Takes about two minutes per listing. And yeah. now you can do this manually. I am using the cross listing tool um, list perfectly, but you can definitely just do this manually. I do recommend posting one item per day. Don't post it all in a bunch. If you know you only have 10 things to cross list, I would say just do it, do it one per day because it definitely keeps the algorithm moving. And I notice I have more sales when I do that and I'm consistent. And that goes for most platforms actually, <laughs> not just Facebook Marketplace, it's the consistency. It didn't like that category, so. All right, I'm just gonna put it there for the moment so I can just demonstrate this and not take too much time. Okay, I do use the shipping right through Facebook Marketplace super easy. They generate the label for you. They take the payment. They do all that processing. Right now, the fees are 5%. Sometimes they are running um, free shipping promotions and all of that. Okay, so that's how we cross list something to Facebook Marketplace. Again, the key is to be consistent with your listing. Try to get at least one thing a day. If you have more than one thing a day, great. I think that's awesome. Okay, so once we cross list, we can go in and you can take a peek at your listings. Mine are still coming up. Okay, we can see that is just what we listed. Now, here is the most important part of making Facebook Marketplace work for your business, it is going to be your messenger. So you're gonna see all your Facebook Marketplace messages, sales, everything right here in in your messenger, okay? And there's a separate section, marketplace, and you can see your sales. So what I do is just on my desktop, I have this nifty little text file in notepad, and I have two different messages. So basically, you're thanking the customer for their business and asking them to go over and take a look at your Facebook page if they're interested. The other one is, um, thanking them for their interest. So I use this one if maybe somebody was looking for something and it sold to somebody else first. So I do like to thank them for their interest and let them know that they can find more on our Facebook page. Now, the key to why this is working so well is that these people are already on Facebook and they're already shopping through Facebook. So you definitely wanna capitalize on that. They're definitely interested. You have your customer base there. So you don't wanna leave money on the table and and not do this. 
So basically what I do, and I've already done this, is I just cut and paste a little note in here. Thank you for your business. Feel free to join Conchie Consignment at our Facebook page, a link to our Facebook page. So all they have to do is click to see the latest and greatest arrivals. Your tracking number is now available on your order. And that's a good little piece to add because they don't automatically see that in Facebook and sometimes they're wondering when you shipped it. Um, that may change, but for now, that's a good little piece of information. It'll save you some time and energy. And that's pretty much how I use Facebook Marketplace to drive business to my store and my Facebook page as well. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, drop some comments in the notes below and I'll be happy to set you guys up and let you know what works for me. Thanks.